All right, guys, technique we're going to talk about today, we're just going to call it the Rutherford finish because he does it so well and uh, on some really high level guys in the highest situation. So you could see that, uh, you know, he goes left hand on the knee, right hand on the ankle, and then he's going to shelf it on this right leg right here, lift it up and then go for this back leg. So a couple things. Number one, a lot of us stay underneath and we stop. Notice how Rutherford just continues to go. Notice how he high legs over with that right leg. And he continues to look for angles. And really what he's doing is he's getting behind his opponent. A couple things. Once we get here, what we want to do, left hand on the knee, right hand on the ankle. And what he's going to do is shelf it. He's going to put it up on this right leg. So as soon as he pulls it up, he's shelfing it. And notice how his neck is extremely tight to his leg. He's going to come over and look for that back leg and, and get the takedown. It's a thing of beauty. All right, let's, let's watch him get another easy takedown here. And this is in the you know national finals and after this guy just took him down. So you're going to see he's going to get in on, on a leg attack and notice how he never stops moving. And what, what's he looking for? He's looking for left hand on the ankle. Neck is tight. Neck is super tight to his leg. Right hand will be on the knee, but he beat this guy so bad, he's just going to cut across and get the other leg. And it's just an automatic two. So really good stuff. Gun on a leg attack, and you keep going. And watch his legs this time. Watch, watch how his legs are moving, how his right hip goes hard down, how he's driving off of this left leg. It's really, really good. And this is something that, that's important to do is to watch it over and over and over, over again, where you're watching where his hands are. You're watching how his, his legs are moving. You're watching the pressure that he's putting in. You're seeing how tight his neck is. He's just taking the wizard away. Now, it's not always that easy. Here's uh, Rutherford versus uh, Micah Jordan. And let's get into this leg attack here. And this time, Micah uh, got the, uh, the, the shin wizard in here. And notice how he's going to go hard down with his hip and pull this shoulder back. He's going to pull his shoulder back so he can get his neck tight to this leg. And he's just going to pop it. Now he's in a great position uh, to score because now he has right hand on the ankle, left hand on the knee. He's going to try to come up and shelf it right here. But when he did that, uh, Micah turned into him. And so he adjusted. Now he came back and went for a double to take him down. So really important sequence uh, here when once, number one, we got the, got the single. And then number two, instead of driving up into him, we're going to go back. Watch this left hip come down. And when that left hip comes down, we're going to be pushing this leg out. And this shoulder is really, really pushing to get you know his neck close to that leg and so once he pops it now he's in a great great uh, position normally what would happen is he'd shelf and get the back leg but Micah turned his his hip into him right here to get into like a crackdown position try to push his head to the outside and then we got into a double really good stuff the next one is uh Logan Stever so you know this is this is when Rutherford was a freshman. So this is, this is pretty cool that he's a freshman beating a three-time national uh, champion. Uh, and, and Logan ended up being a four-time national champion. But, I mean, this guy's good. Uh, so here's what, what we're doing. He's getting in on a leg attack right here. Look what he's doing. Left hand on the ankle, on this shoe. Right hand's on the knee. But you can see Logan Stieber is, you know, extremely flexible. So he's just trying to transfer over into 
like a John Smith low single where you put your head on the knee, right hand on the ankle, and your left arm would come over here uh, to, to take him down. But notice how now he came back. So he went, he went on that, that like John Smith low single. Now he came back to it. And look, his neck is super tight. Left hand on the ankle, right hand grabbing uh, this, this shoe to get to. And he doesn't get it uh, because the Logan Stever is so talented. Now he's going to go back in front and and stay back on this ankle the key is if he lets go of this shoe right here at any time he will lose uh the takedown and you can see now see he's making a transfer to the left and you, now logan is bringing that leg in and i want to show you guys that uh watch him bring bring that that see he's bringing this in if he doesn't hold on to this he'll lose the takedown, but he keeps that. And now it goes back to the right hand on it. He always keeps that ankle and then he ends up getting two. Uh, it was an awesome match uh, there as well. All right, let's show you some, uh, some other guys. This is Aaron Brooks uh, in the uh, All-Star Classic. And right here, he's going to get in on on this this uh single ankle pick and notice where he's going to go his left hand's already on the ankle but his head his neck is going to go tight to his leg and come back and get two and you know this is the position that that you want to be in so it was it was an easy two because you know he went right away back back door and there's going to be uh obviously when he gets him this 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 far along notice how he keeps circling around to the back he's getting that angle to get that takedown really good stuff and then at, at 131 here in the same match he does a nice down block and now he's getting into uh this same position look his neck is tight left hand should be on a knee right hand should be on the ankle right here and he almost gets it kick out and now we're back in that same position but on the other leg uh like rutherford was and look he's shelfing the leg he's getting he's getting it tight right here he should be getting his head down and his neck up against the leg uh but what does he do he comes up uh here and then comes over to an underhook i want you to watch doing this he he gets this takedown here but I want you to watch coming up into, into someone's power because if you look at uh, this one right here, I believe he ends up doing the same thing, but doesn't get it because he comes right up into uh, around his waist. And you're going to see right here, when you come up this high, he didn't get it. Now, now he's up into his power and he doesn't get the takedown. So I think it's important that that you keep going back and looking for that leg. I, it feels natural that you should be able to come up here, uh, but it, uh, it it's coming up into the guy's power. And you know, here's here's Aaron Brooks uh, again uh, in that same same position. And let's see here, he gets in on a leg attack, and man, he just missed it. And this is the best way to do it, guys, is to come back and get it right away. Circle back and get that back leg right away. You know, his neck should be tight to that leg, left hand on the ankle. And then here he missed it. And then from right here, at this point, he should actually go back down and do what Rutherford did to Michael jo Micah Jordan. And you can see that he's he comes uh, up for the head, which this is obviously – uh, uh, aggressive and, uh, I like it, you know, trying to go for the pin and this is going to be there. Uh, but he ends up not getting two to where I think if he needed a guaranteed two, I would go back to this match right here. And I would show, uh, Aaron that this is, this is where we want to be right here. 
because it's the exact same same position right here. Look, he has a shin wizard right here. And watch what watch what Rutherford does. He pops it. Look at this hip, this power coming in. He's coming back towards the leg. It's almost like a guaranteed two to come back in here. Actually, nothing's guaranteed, but it's it's a high percentage. All right, guys. Uh, the last thing that I want want to show you in this exact same match that uh, that Rutherford uh, took down uh, Sorensen. Sorensen actually takes down Rutherford in, in a the very same thing, but he comes up to his feet first. And now watch, he's going to make the transfer over to his left hip. Once it goes to the left hip, now look what he's got. Left hand on the shoe, right hand on the knee. Get your neck tight to his leg right here. And now he can go back and go back door to get that takedown. And uh, it's really cool. I think, I think they have like three or four takedowns with this exact same finish. And notice how... Look what he's doing. Look how he gets his neck tight. And why is he getting his neck tight right there? Because when you get in here, there's there's no wizard to be had. Look, his elbows in right here. He can't get he can't get a wizard. Everything's tight here. And you know, that's that's why it's such a, a great finish. And you know, I always like to show old school. And this is, you know, one of my favorite matches. This is Doug Schwab and Chris Marshall and Doug Schwab's national champion. He's awesome. And Chris Marshall's all American. He's awesome. But look what he's doing. He's, he's getting the same finish that we just talked about on his feet. And he's stepping over when he gets this single. And where's he going to put the right, right hand on the ankle right here on this hip, left hand on the knee. And he's getting his neck tight. He wants his neck tight to that leg. Because what's that doing? It's taking the wizard away. And when you do that, you get yourself a takedown on a guy like Doug Schwab. That's pretty good. All right, guys. Have a great day.